one, check one. Hey, it's quite possible that the US Department of Defense don't know what UAPs are for two fascinating new reasons. People think we're going to get disclosure from guys that look like this. But new evidence has revealed UFOs are controlled by people who look like this. And that's all because of this. Hey, welcome back. Peace, love, and nuclear understanding. Ever since the Manhattan Project, advanced physics has been weaponized. But stop. What is advanced physics? It's uh, a theory. It's an idea. It's a formula on a blackboard. Albert Einstein didn't invent the atomic bomb. He had a thought experiment. E equals mc squared. And he clearly said it would never work. There's nothing practical, physical, about atomic energy. It's a way of physicists defining reality. When they came up with an image of an atom, this is just a graphical representation of an equation on a blackboard. And it's really wrong. The Manhattan Project, to actually build a physical atomic weapon using theories was amazing. The idea actually only existed in people's heads. There was nothing practical. There was no material science to actually back it up. It was never going to work. But because of the commitment and the resources of the United States of America, they actually made a bomb. But after the Trinity test worked and Hiroshima and Nagasaki the world changed. The brilliant scientists who worked on the Manhattan Project thought that the technology should be shared for all mankind. But General Groves and the Department of Defense said absolutely not, it's ours. So that debate led to a political schism in the United States. Was the military getting too big for its boots? And that led to this, the first atomic Energy Act. Let me read to you some of the things that the Act actually said. Congress ultimately decided that the subject of atomic energy required unique controls because its component parts, atomic weapons, atomic power, and atomic science were largely inseparable. The Atomic Energy Act of 1946 transferred control of all aspects of atomic nuclear energy from the army, which had managed the government's World War II Manhattan Project to produce bombs to a five-member civilian atomic energy commission, the AEC. It prohibits the unauthorized dissemination of unclassified information pertaining to the design, security measures, in fact, anything with the word atomic in it. And listen to this very carefully. In the Atomic Energy Act, everything to do with atoms, whether it was atomic power, atomic bombs, or ionizing radiation from extraterrestrials, was locked away as a secret. And this is really strange. The information section of the Act reveals the atavistic depths that have been stirred by the release of atomic energy, having in their possession a fearful image of the god of war, which makes them stronger than all their enemies. The tribe is obsessed with the fear that the image may be stolen or duplicated. So a temple is built, ringed by the walls and guarded by untiring sentinels, those whose function it is to attend the deity are carefully chosen and subjected to purification rites. They are guarded with unceasing vigilance, and at the slightest sign of defecation, condign punishment is visited upon them. Incredible security to this day. Long jail sentences and fines to even discuss anything secret about 
atoms. So atomic bombs were ripped from the hands of the Department of Defense and given to the Department of Energy. Listen to Jacques Vallée explaining that story. The Manhattan Project would have custody of it, and then it would go into the Atomic Energy Commission, and then it would go into the Department of Energy, which has its own line of clearances, because you can be in the Pentagon yeah. with a top secret clearance, but if, you, if you're not briefed on the atomic secrets, you wouldn't get the clearances that you needed to do to open up that thing. So what does that mean? Well, it answers a lot of questions. Maybe the Department of Defense aren't allowed to know what UAP are because their true nature falls into the remit of the Department of Energy. They seem to be interested in nuclear stuff. There is an absolute connection to nuclear. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you think it's the power unlock more than the destructive force? I think... I think we should refocus our questions. Instead of expecting answers from generals in the Pentagon, the secrets of UFOs and UAP are under the remit of these people at the Department of Energy. So is that true? Well, I think it's more complicated than I personally know. But if you know what the Department of Energy know, please share it. Because of you, the truth needs to be out there.